Joining us now, Democratic Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger of Virginia. She's a member of the House Intelligence Committee and a former CIA officer. Congresswoman, thanks for being with us this morning. Uh, what is your assessment of the damage done already and the potential damage ahead if these, this one-man blockade of military promotions continues? Well, I represent Quantico. I represent thousands of members of the U.S. Marine Corps, thousands of active duty service members, as well as tens of thousands of veterans across Virginia's 7th District. And what this one senator is doing and has been able to do is just absolutely unthinkable and irresponsible. And we heard General Brown use the phrase, we have to mitigate the challenges. The fact that we have military leaders mitigating the challenges posed by one single senator when we have challenges they should be mitigated that they should be focused on mitigating in the form of our mil our adversaries of throughout the world that they should be planning they should be ensuring our military readiness and they're mitigating the challenges created by one man is unbelievable to me it's irresponsible it's outrageous and it needs to stop it is dangerous to our nation uh, and to our readiness Congresswoman, um, good morning. And I, I'd like to talk to you about if the House Democrats have organized around trying to talk to the senators and explain that this whole situation has become abusive. Um, have, has there been any strategies about how you can put pressure on the Democrats in the Senate to stop allowing one senator to harm our military, to harm the Department of Justice, to harm our judiciary. Uh, it has gotten so abusive that many states like mine, we've not, we have no judges getting appointed, we have no U.S. attorneys, because of one guy who's decided he's gonna run out the clock and not let this administration appoint members of the judiciary. So what are you all doing to try to change the dynamic in the Senate to get rid of the abusive blue slip that has gotten out of control? Well, I think as you as you correctly noted, Senator, you know, this is a challenge. We have our own problems and challenges within the United States House of Representatives. But in the United States Senate, there needs to be action taken because the fact that we have now for months just accepted that this one man show can impact our military readiness, can keep promotions from happening, can ensure that we do not have the chosen leaders in positions across the country and across the world leading our armed services is, is just just not acceptable. And the fact that this is how the Senate is functioning or not functioning at the moment needs to change. Um, and, and certainly there are certainly uh, quite a bit of House members who would like to see, you know, if it takes putting every single person on the floor for a vote, uh, that would be painful uh, for my, my counterparts in the Senate. Uh, but these individuals need to be put in these positions. And, and frankly, what uh, Senator Tuberville is doing is is damaging and actions need to be taken to show that that's just not an appropriate use of uh, of, of senate time or uh the the rules of the senate congresswoman what do you tell a constituent of yours who lives in northern virginia member of a military family we all know that military service is difficult for for this person serving in the military but it's particularly difficult for the families yeah. with the moves every one or two years or whatever so a family comes to you and says, look, we're on the verge of being transferred to Florida, to a base in Florida, where they're going to have a six-week termination of, uh, you know, services for, for women, for reproductive services. What do you tell that particular family? Well, you know, what is notable, and, and my, my background's in national security, I was a CIA officer, <laughs> and working closely with military members in my prior life and now as a representative, what is most extraordinary about the men and women of our military services is their willingness to kind of accept assignments. They PCS, they travel, TDY, they, they move their families to places that can be quite challenging, overseas, um, and, and sometimes uh, far from family uh, uh, within, uh, within the United States. Uh, but the military recognizes the health care needs of family members and wants to be able to provide for a family unit. The real challenges, and what I'm hearing from constituents, a true circumstance, 
a military member looking at getting promoted. They know they're going out to a top position in another state. Their family, including kids who are going to be enrolling in new high schools, everyone is waiting to move states away to begin their new life mm. as the parent is about to undertake command of a pretty particularly uh, noteworthy location. Um, and, and now instead the family is assuming they might just stay, uh, in the DC area for a bit longer, uh, and, and just wait in a holding pattern because the promotion, wow. uh, and this transfer is, is on hold indefinitely. And so that's the because, impact. It's a readiness yeah. issue, but the families that day in and day out sacrifice for their military service member loved ones through moving, through changing, Changing schools, young kids, all of that right. is getting disrupted. In addition to the disservice that, in this case, young Marines are seeing when at the top of the Marine Corps, the commandant position is unfilled right. because of a one man show in the Senate. Uh, it's, it is we, just yeah. outrageous, and our military members deserve more. You know, Absolutely. You know the Mar as you said, the Marine Corps, they don't have a commandant for the first time in 150 years. And you have men and women, you've got spouses, you've got children whose lives are being held up because you have one Republican senator and a lot of other Republicans who are letting him do this, yeah. who, who's playing culture warrior, warrior with the readiness of the United States military. And what's so preposterous is Republicans are the ones who claim Democrats are doing this with the military. Mm. It's a lie. They're projecting. Democratic Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger. Thank you. Thank you so Very much well for being with mm. us. And, and, and thank you so much uh, for your service.